Hey hey, I'm Mitzi Noodles and we are back with the final part of Aqua Sanctuary. Now, there is just something that happened with the game. Uh, last time I tried to record, um, my file got corrupted due to a bug. I'd already saved over <laughs> my save during the recording so I then had to restart the entire game. And then I had to make sure I had the same amount of health. And it was actually quite a challenge because I did pretty well with those two harpies during that block puzzle. But uh, during the editing process I'm going to try and compare a screenshot and I think that my health is actually just a little bit better than last time. So I've restarted, my health is just ever so slightly different. And now you're going to forget everything I said. And I'm gonna say, hey, I am Izzy Noodles. Welcome back to the final part of Aqua Sanctuary. Uh, this will be the biggest challenge as we've got the boss to deal with. And trust me, it is not gonna be easy. And last time I collected the four Aqua Gems and I am currently placing them. So I will explain more about the bug when I get to it. So as you can see, we can now move on to a new area. So you just want to climb all the way up there. So use this and then hop on over. Okay, you want to jump to the pillar. Sometimes if you just go ahead and run and jump without stopping at the edge to line yourself up, she actually often misses. So I just like to make sure I'm lined up just in case. The same with this next jump. Wow, I didn't think she was going to stop then. <laughs> I pressed the walk button and she seemed to carry on running. Hokey pokey. Okay, straight on through. So we've got a ladder, at the top of the ladder there is a trap door, so just press the button and that is now open. Small med pack in the opposite gap. Okay, and then just oh, climb on up. Okay, so straight ahead, that is the door to the boss, but we need to find two stars to open the door. But firstly, I'm just gonna grab some, what is it, Uzi clips, right here. And now I'm gonna go get the stars. Now it does not matter which one you go for first. You can go left or right. I'm gonna choose to go to the right, just cause. And just out on the ledge, we've got some more ammo. We've got some shotgun shells in the corner. Okay. And now follow the path. So we've got some trap doors to jump over. Here we go. And on this second one, you actually can fall down on the right, nope, nope, the left, <laughs> left hand side. They are spike traps, but on the left here, you can fall down because there is a secret. So it's only a small med, like one of the most well hidden secrets and it seems a little bit rubbish. <laughs> okay, so now just make your way out. Okie dokie. So at this point we actually just want to hop straight down to the ground so you just use the slopes over there to do that. But before I do, I'm just going to hover so I can deactivate those spikes that are directly below. So they've shot up now. 
And now I'm going to climb down. Safest way. Um, can't remember. Just gonna. There we go. Oh, now I'm stuck. Okay. <laughs> <coughs> Excuse me, a bit croaky. You want to be careful of the various spike traps on the ground. And uh, we've got our first star right here. Now, there are three doors. Each door has a different enemy behind it. When I grab the star off the wall, the middle door will open and we will have some jackals to deal with. I will choose my shotgun. So equip that. And I'm gonna save just because I can. All right, so just pry it off the wall. Okay. Easy peasy. So that has opened the middle door. Intense music. There is a small med pack and another button. So this button opens uh, the door sort of in front, the next room yeah, ahead. And we'll have a giant scorpion that is poisonous. I'm going to choose my Uzis. And I will save because it is poisonous. <laughs> oh, press the button. Well, watch where you're going. Oh no! It got me. Oh, the spikes got me. Oh, I am poisoned as well. <laughs> yeah, I forgot what I was doing there. <laughs> so, button, then turn, and then try not to run into the wall. I don't think it actually took any health whatsoever. I'm definitely not poisoned. So he came from this room. There are some shotgun shells being guarded by this skeleton. Okay. And you've got some Uzi clips here. Two lots of. And another button. So this obviously is going to open the next door. So my weapon of choice will now be the shotgun. We've got some harpies to deal with, two of them. And yes, they are poisonous as well. Okay, so sometimes they can get stuck. Oh, where are they? Okay, one of them may have got me, I don't know. I'm not poisoned though, so that's absolutely dandy. Okay, so they came from this room. Sometimes one of them gets stuck in the room until you come up to it. Sometimes one of them is stuck, like right in the corner at the top. But just come towards it and it'll get unstuck. So a button and a large med pack. She often doesn't like to pick up the large med first. Oh, she did today. Okay, so quite obviously that's raised that block and now we can get out of here. We actually couldn't get out of here, we were trapped until we dealt with all the enemies. But before I leave, I'm actually going to deactivate all of these traps so you can use the block for that. Make sure you hover over the traps. So I could have also used the block to jump over that one, but I just thought I'd hover while I was up the top. And this one is a little more tricky. You just want to use the corner of this raised bit. And just not fully over the tile, but just clip the corner kind of thing. Because it can get you quite easily. I might save actually. 
with the trouble I've had in the past while I was recording. I just don't want any more trouble. Just want to get it done. So hop over the corner. There we go. And that opened this door to a secret. Nice. Okay, so now we can leave. So using the same way you came down, this is just a safe way down. Yeah, I think you can drop, but you will take damage. And you just want to run and jump to the ledge there. She actually does not like to do a half tile jump here. And it's the very rare occasion she's actually done a half tile for me. So just run along the longer diagonal ledge, edge of the ledge, and then just grab the ledge. She, for some reason, does not like doing a half tile jump there. But now, don't forget to hop the gaps. And we can go and get the second star. So it's pretty simple to get the stars. And don't forget, there is a hole in the ground where we came from, so try not to fall down there. Yeah, the stars are actually quite simple. You'd think they'd be really tedious and long-winded, but no 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 but our second star is in the gates straight ahead but obviously we need to open the gates and we need to get there now when we drop down there will be two guardians they both drop a guardian key each when we place them that will deactivate this spike trap and we can pull the lever so let's get down there safest way is to just grab the ledge and then shimmy to this slightly lower point. It's not that much lower, but it actually does make the difference. And you'll want to make sure you are not wading in deep water, so just jump up and she will run. I also want to choose my pistols. First guardian comes out of the door you can't really see, it's just sort of around the corner, like halfway through Lara's head. And he activates once you sort of cross the barrier of that darker tile on the wall. So I'm going to jump over the water onto the the ledge that seems as though it's an inch high, the shorter ledge. So let's do your best. Right, sometimes they do just get the first shot off on you. Okay. Aha, he missed. So it can take a while. I do think these enemies look cool with the golden faces, like the mask. Come on. Pokey pokey. So here is the first guardian key and the moment you pick that up the next guardian will come out of the door there. Uh, trying to line myself up so I can just do a simple run and jump and save obviously. Okay. Oh he pushed me off. That was lucky. <laughs> well, I can't see anything except his crotch. Yeah, if you get pushed off like I did, you're probably better off just reloading after you've got that first guy. That's if you're bothered about your health. If not, then it really doesn't matter. <laughs> it's an intense battle, look at that. How intense. Uh, get off. <laughs> Alright, second gem. Uh, guardian key, rather. And you got some shotgun shells just on this ledge. And then the little... I don't know. Is it his house? Do they, do they live in these gaps? <laughs> but in this other place where the first guardian was, there is a large med pack. 
Okay, so now you can place the guardian keys straight away. There is a receptacle here. Second receptacle is right across the way. And you may have just heard, it was pretty quiet. But the spike trap has now been deactivated, so you can now stand on here and pull this lever. So that does some crazy stuff with these platforms. But that is how we're going to get across to the star, but unfortunately the gate is still closed, we still need to figure out how to open the gate. And it's actually quite simple. <laughs> so to get out you just want to use the ladder on the wall, forgot to mention that, I just started climbing. Go as high as you can. If you feel you want to go one step higher, just come to right to the side and then climb up. Uh, but you don't want to hop back and flip and grab, you'll grab this. So you don't have to be as high as you can possibly get, but I prefer to be just in case. Uh, where am I going? So we need to open the gate and there is a lever hidden inside a cubby in the wall. So you can stand on top of the ladder just in that specific space and then um, you can easily run and jump to there but you don't want to stop on there because of her animation she she falls off for me she keeps falling right off the edge but if you go straight into another run and jump uh, she just does not fall off she goes straight into the jump so I recommend doing this all in one movement pretty simple Okie doke. So if you don't know what I'm talking about, try and copy me. <laughs> so run and jump, and then straight again into another run and jump, Grab, uh, fling your arms out, just in case she doesn't make it in through the gap. And here is the lever that will open the door. Now to get back you just want to grab the side of the ledge. You don't want to be all the way forward because she struggles to hop out of the gap. So just curve a little bit. And there you go. And this is another case where she sometimes doesn't like to do a half tile. So again, run the length of the diagonal. Make sure you grab so she slides into the gap. And then you can grab the ledge. And now for the fun part, if she gets off the wall. <laughs> so to get across, you want to be sort of two or three steps up here and go into a run and jump to the first one and then just a standing jump to the next platform and then immediately run and jump to the next one and straight ahead to the ledge. So you don't want to land and then stop to turn, you want to run as soon as you've landed. So all one swift movement. So start running as soon as that first platform starts coming back up. Oh, I think I went too soon there. So standing jump straight into a running jump. And that's how it's done. I'm pleased I did that on the first go. <laughs> sometimes I get it on the first go, sometimes I just need a few more practices. <laughs> but anyway, we now have both of our stars. And we can make our way to the door, the door to the boss, and we can place them. Come on, why are you waiting? So same way back out, just climb the ladder. Okay, so you flip and turn and grab. Okie dokie. So don't forget, mine's the hole in the floor. Ok, 
Okay, first golden star. And second golden star. Okay, so if we look down, there is a fire. You can avoid the fire. Uh, first time I played, I didn't realize there was a lever to turn off the fire. Uh, and I managed to jump just at the correct moment so I could turn around the corner and just hover ever so slightly on the corner of the tile as I jumped and turned around the corner. And I did not get set on fire. But there is actually a lever. You have to jump in a certain point on the slope to get to the lever. You see close to the bottom there is a, a darker tile on the right hand side. You want to jump just after that dark tile to reach at the ledge. Alright so here we go. Scary boss music. Okay. Oh I jumped too soon. Too soon. There we go. <laughs> so we also have a small med pack. So this is the lever that will turn off the fire. Alright, so the moment we step off this tile, the boss will appear right in the middle behind the force field and you'll get a huge flyby. And it's a pretty long winded process. We have to get rid of the force field because, uh, yeah, we can't attack him <laughs> with the force field. He's going to be shooting at us. We have to jump across the ledges. There are spikes. Oh my goodness. So I like to sort of do a sidestep off here. So I'm already facing where I want to jump to. I will first jump to the spikes and there are gaps in the corner. You'll get a better view of this during the flyby. So you basically, I'm trying to make my way anti-clockwise around the room and you can just see that large med pack over in the far corner. There is a button near there. That's where we're actually heading to right now. Also after the flyby, you want to try and save your game as fast as possible because yes, you're going to die. I'm going to die quite a lot. <laughs> so yeah, you don't want to keep watching that cutscene over and over. It's going to get annoying. So I'm just going to sidestep to get the cutscene. There we go. That's the button near the large med pack, which opens that door there. Okay. So, save as fast as you can. And it's difficult to time with the spikes. Yeah, no. <laughs> might wait another second next time. So fling your arms out to land in the gap and if you're right in the corner he can't get you with his attacks. So you got some shotgun shells here and you can just run across the corner. Okay so to make it out of here, you want to be all the way forward and just take one step back. So you want to jump, do a standing jump out of here, but you want to curve to the right slightly because there's actually not enough room to jump forward in a straight line and go into a running jump to the next platform. So you need to curve just a bit so you get a bit more distance to run. And yes, there will be a lot of saving. So just straight forward to the next cubby. Oh. Oh no. <laughs> oh. So yeah, it's all about the timing. <laughs> so next, just run across the corner to this next gap. 
make sure you are right in the corner and he won't be able to get you. Okay. So we've got another moment again where we will probably have to pause for a moment because of the timing of the spikes. So same deal again, you want to do a curve jump. Ooh, not like that though, I goofed. Well, she got shot in the legs, but it didn't take damage. Kind of odd. But anyway, I had a bit of struggle with that one just now. Um, best way to come out of the gap, take a hop forward. And then obviously when you get to the middle part, that's the safe part, just pause for a moment. And then run and jump. So here is the button. And then just run across the Oh no! <laughs> Fumble fingers. All right. So it took me another million attempts <laughs> to get out of that gap. Trying to run across this corner. There you go. Large med pack. So, right. Walk all the way forward and one step back. So, from here, standing jump onto this first spiky tile and then onto the next tile, and then I'll do a side flip into the newly opened door. Do not forget to save. I mean, the reason I'm saving so much is because this section can be incredibly frustrating. Okay, and then just run into the corner. He's not started shooting me, but run into here and you'll be protected by the wall, but do not run right into here because obviously <laughs> there's a blade. So just come on through and this button, yeah, can't remember for a moment what it did, but yeah, that opens the door directly opposite the one we came through and through that way is uh, what will turn off the force field, the shield, whatever you want to call it. So just in this gap we've got a few goodies. Okay, uh, I got very close there. So from here. I'm going to do a run and jump over the corner of this pillar onto the spiky platform pillar that you can't actually see and then jump to the next opening which will be actually where we entered this area and do exactly the same thing to get to the other side. Now it's up to you when, whether you want to try and take the moment to save when you're in the next safe space or whether you want to just gun it all the way across to the other side. And this bit can take some practice because of the timing with the spikes. Did I save just now? I think I did, but let's save again for look. Okay, <laughs> I think I did. <laughs> Never mind. But it's the timing. Not always perfect. Oh no. Oh, well, I missed anyway. I'm actually quite disappointed. On my very first recording of this that went wrong, I did so well <laughs> during this boss bit. This is upsetting me. Oh. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> wow. 
I just had the bug problem and my game closed and my game file became corrupt but by some miracle it was saved so I do not have to replay this again though it won't be the entire game this time so I was I thought about that just don't save over that file I was gonna talk more about the book when I got to it my plan was to close the game stop the recording close the game bring it all back etc but I've done that right now anyway so hopefully the rest of the game will be fine Wow right so let's continue to try and get over to the other side I've had such bad luck <laughs> with this gameplay slash recording it's just not going well but anyway I don't know if I got to say that when you get when you're jumping across you can wait until the spikes are about to come up that might time it well don't know we'll see oh too soon too soon oh that might be too slow Oh, well I messed up anyway I don't think I'm ever gonna make it across Oh my goodness! And into the gap. Oh, wow. I was there for quite some time. <laughs> oh, can it get any worse today though, really? But anyway, the door has closed behind you, so you are perfectly safe. This lever opens, or un it, it gets rid of the force field. I can't even talk now. So Mr. Boss Man is exposed and this lever is how to get out of here. Can't remember which way around I usually like to stand. It's difficult because I can't see. I might take a little bit of damage. If I do I would rather reload, which I know is petty. It just depends how much damage I take getting out of here. What's my health? Oh, well, it's okay, actually. Right, so if I take damage, I will resist the urge to reload. Hey, no damage. Okay. So you've got two pickups of shotgun shells here, and this opens the door so we can get out of here, but it is timed. So the way I get out is I jump to the platform in front which does not have spikes but I run around to the left over the spikes and into the corner. So I'm telling you that now because I probably won't be able to talk at the time I will be concentrating. But right now, pull the lever, hop back and turn. And depending on how you're standing, you can do a roll. You don't necessarily need to do a sprint jump here, sprint run. Oh, god damn. Okay. I managed to grab. Go, go, go. Go, go, go to the left. Left, left, left. Left, left. Over the spikes. Yes! <laughs> oh, god. Oh, god. Everything is just going wrong. But. Now, it's oozy time. It is wheezy time, so let him rip. And when he goes to shoot you, just hop back. And you will run out of, out of ammo, but it takes less than 10 pistol bullets to then finish him off. It's
it's not too long-winded. It seems as though it's going to be long-winded, but it's not. Come on. Yeah, there we go. Wow, I ran out of bullets just in time. So, <laughs> I am going to not stop saving from now. Okay, so, all the way forward, one step back. And don't forget to curve a little bit to the left. Oh, no. well, at least I saved. At least I saved. <laughs> I am just being so clumsy now. I didn't even turn in the air, but yeah, whatever you fancy, Lara. I don't care. But anyway, now we can make our way straight over here. And you've got this, which is the Hand of Death. Now, as soon as we pick that up, we will spawn some skeletons. So make sure you've got your shotgun at the ready. And they can knock you off. Be aware of that. So I usually wouldn't save after killing the boss in the corner, but such bad luck at the moment so I'm I'm gonna continuously say <laughs> oh no pick this up here they come they're coming so don't forget if you need to be aiming at a different enemy press the look button oh I don't know if he got me there I think he did So, there we go. One of them hit me, but that's okay. So, the hand of death goes into the receptacle straight ahead. But first, we want our last secret. There is a space straight down below. Let me light a flare, you might be able to see it. Not very well. <laughs> So just in case I miss this gap, I use, this is the place where I usually do save, just in case I miss. Okay, so you want to go along the diagonal and just run forward but hold the grab button and she will slide straight into the gap and well you can see it took a lot of health off me there. But anyway, inside this gap there is a large med pack. Not one, not two, but three Uzi clip pickups and some shotgun shells. Now it looks as though they want you to actually get this secret before the boss, but ain't nobody got time for that. <laughs> so you get a load of weapon, uh, a load of ammo when you don't even need it. But from here, just place the hand of death. Okay. So now we have a way to exit, so you just want to make your way over. And this is where I got the bug. So close to the end, and I'd saved over my file while recording, and I had to start again. So this is where I would have saved, and I would have said that I'm going to stop the recording close the game and reopen the game and continue recording from here but well that's already crashed and closed so I'll not save uh, I'll not close the game I'll just save just in case and what happens is there's a long drop and there's water to catch Lara to break her fall it's quite shallow so you can touch the bottom but it will save her fall I know I'm not making sense it will make sense when you see it but if she touches the bottom there is an explosion and she dies and I think that's the bug and I think that is what closes the game so I will try and show you the bug because it is just insane she touches the bottom yeah you see what's up with that Oh my goodness. 
All right. One way to possibly get around that is hold the up button, button as though you're trying to swim upwards. That took more attempts than usual to not blow up. That was insane. But anyway. <laughs> so you see why I, why I got so angry about saving over my file? Because I'm so close to the end and I have to start the entire game again. But we have this button, which will open the door. Just stick to the edges. We don't want to get blown up. Okay. Turn, turn, turn. There you go. So just come on in. Nice calming music of calm. End of level. This is the amulet of Horus. This is what we came for and now we can leave. So thank you for watching everyone. Hope you've enjoyed it. And I'll see you next time.